What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, E.K. Quit skipping my ads. On the year side. <laughs> I just got some. Put up in that. With two holes like. Yeah. Okay, so today is going to be a much awaited video. As you can tell by the title, I'm finally going to record me doing my makeup, okay? <laughs> Now, I was I was going to try and talk during a makeup tutorial or something, but I'm like, um, it never gave that. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do my makeup. So, basically, I brush my lashes up on my eyelash brush. I need to be brushing my lashes. Make sure y'all brushing them and washing them lashes, lady. I don't wash my lashes just because I'm lazy, but if you want yours to last longer than mine's, actually take care of your lashes and wash them a lot of y'all be asking my lash map my lash tech don't sit me on the board while i'm having my eyes closed and tell me what she's doing she just does it so sadly i don't know my lash map i don't know what millimeter there is i don't know what she be doing she just fleeks me and i go on about my motherfucking day amen so now let's get into the first step, which is the eyebrows. I do my eyebrows first. I ordered me some new brushes off of Amazon because I don't feel like cleaning my old ones. And they purple. I'm such a purple girly. But okay, y'all. So eyebrows first. Cover girl. Easy breezy brow. Feel and divine. Define. I think I got this from Family Dollar. So what I do is I literally just start at the end that's why i shave half my eyebrow off because i like to make my own arch without it being hairs in my way so i just fill it in and make it thick and arch it i really don't even worry about this it's part too bad because my concealer always gonna say today you feel me so just make your arch how you need it i like a high arch as you can see so yeah I kind of just leave the front alone because I don't know. It, it, for, to me, it makes it look more natural if you conceal it. And y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. So, I'm trying to make sure I'm getting good angles for y'all and things like that. This brow is kind of harder to do. I don't know why. It's always my left brow that I be struggling with. But get that arch how I need it and things like that. This one is still a little bit higher. Okay. I might be able to work with this. Trust the process, y'all. Y'all know sometimes I slay. So just try and trust the process, at least. Just try. So what I conceal with is... I conceal with LA Girl Shade Pure Beige. It sometimes be looking like my actual, um, my actual complexion, but you know, it is winter. I am a little sugar cookie now. So yeah, squeeze a little bit out, dab the excess on my hand because I might need to use that. And then I'm trying to do it in the mirror, y'all, but I don't like, I don't, you feel me? And I just get my arch to my liking okay um it's i still don't know how to do my brows and i've been doing my makeup for about four years now so yeah don't be if this your first time doing makeup your brows fucked up yeah girl trust the brows is the hardest part to learn in your face the brows is really the defining piece to your face in my opinion like brows can make and break brows can make or break your face in my opinion okay and then i go up top with the same shade and try to get a good arch okay now let's look through my brushes and see which one i'm going to use i should have opened these before okay we're gonna use this one actually no this is my normal brush that I use. This is my normal brush that I use before I bought this one. And as you can see, it's kind of... this. Oh, my hand's dirty. Ooh, my bad. 
So you gonna see what these brushes hitting for. And I kind of literally just go in the same motion I did with the um, concealer stick or whatever the fuck it's called. And just kind of drag it down on the eyelid. I'm not really an eyelash girly. If you look at how I do my makeup, it really just be the contour. I blend it up into my eyebrow, but we gonna get into that. I'm really not an eye, um, eye makeup girly because of these big ass lashes. Like it, imagine trying to, as a beginner, trying to learn it. No, 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 no. So kind of just make the same motion, blend that out, blend that out. Then at the top, I'm blending it upwards. Ooh, don't want it in your edges. And then kind of just the same process, just blending and blending. don't like my brows anyways but when the rest of the face is done it, it, it kind of comes together but period so now we got our brows done so i use milk primer and i think i've had this since at least 2022 because i don't do my makeup every day some days i do have them spurts where i got a wig every day for like a week and a half but this is the last thing maybe i'm not using enough right but baby it's oh no it's oh no I do three squirts on each side. Ooh, I feel like this is giving out on me. And then one on the forehead. Come on now. Okay. Now, before I rub in this primer, I want to find which brush I'm finna use to blend my makeup because I usually use a beauty blender. But I want to try new things. 2024 is all about new things quit sticking to what's familiar get on that ledge you feel me what's the worst that can happen don't make me fucked up oh well okay i'm just gonna stick to what i know for now so i use a beauty blender i really can't tell which one i be using no more i don't switch them up so much but oh i think i use this one now and then i dampen it up kind of squeeze all that water off and i'm doing this all before i wear my primer so, it could, so when i put that foundation on it could be ready to be in because i notice when i take a while after my primer it be blotchy and it be just be spots everywhere so let's have this ready to go to blend in that foundation baby <laughs> I use Dior Forever Skin Glow Shade 4.5 Neutral. I think that's what it say. Yeah. 4.5 Neutral, y'all. This is what it say on the back. 4.5 Neutral. And I do four pumps on each cheek. I don't think this is full coverage, honestly. It don't do me like Clinique do me. I used to be on Clinique bad, y'all. But I don't know why I switched up to Dior. I just was bored of support one day. Like, let me buy something else. But I was on Clinique, and that really was full coverage. I love Clinique. I'm probably going to go back after this one ran out. So now you got that beauty blender. Oh, damn. See, look. Just dirty. Just a mess. Okay, now you want to...
All right. Then I go in. That's what I think I'm going to keep my same concealer brush too. I got this concealer brush from Amazon. I'm going to try and find a link and put it in my bio because a lot of y'all been asking for the concealer brush. I used to do a beauty blender for concealer, but I don't know. The brush kind of, it really, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. So we going to keep this brush. I ain't clinked it in months, but maybe it's a brush like this in this new packaging, but I doubt it. I should have just ordered a new concealer brush if I wasn't going to wash this one. But... Oh, no. I was supposed to be trying out this other one because I seen this girl. She was doing uh, makeup. She is MUA, so, of course, she's going to do it better and know the technique. But she used, like, this kind of flat. It was kind of like a brush like this one. It was kind of like a brush like this for the concealer. So, I want to try and use that. It was something like this. Let's try this. Let's try this. So then for the next step, I go in with my same LA Girl Conceal that I used to conceal my eyebrows. Huh? Oh, Lordy. This and kind of just blend it into the... Because with that beauty blender, you can't really get right here. And I, and I got these long lashes on. So do that first. Okay. I think I'm going to use this for the concealer. I'm scared. What's the worst that could happen, Erica? Okay, so like I said, same concealer I used to put some eyebrows. Under eye. I kind of fill up the whole um, under eye. And just, you know, smoothly get it under there. ready to go a lot of people let their concealer dry down uh maybe i should try that who knows but nah we trying new things so like i said i usually use this i feel like i should just stick to okay i'm literally just going to stick to my old brushes for as of right now and i'm going to use the new makeup look i'm going to practice that tomorrow off camera just so i can actually show y'all what i actually do okay so it's your brush and I really don't have a technique. I really just blend it or at least try to and things like that. A lot of people ask me what I'm doing when I'm rubbing this brush off. I'm just rubbing it off from here because they so dirty I haven't washed them. So I'll just be trying to get as much extra shit off my brush as I can. Now for my favorite part, uh, contouring. So what I used to use for contour, y'all, this is just a, a, a other alternative. If you're not really ready to spend this type of money, you just practice and you begin it. I use LA Girl Pro Conceal Shade Beautiful Bronze for contour. But now that I'm in my trying to be bossy bag, I got this Finny Beauty contour stick. And I used it last time I did my makeup and I actually like this. So I'm like, you know what? Let's keep going with it. So I really don't know how to contour my actual face. I don't really be knowing where to put it. So I literally just put it right. Like I literally just, you feel me? Like, and it works every time it works. So I just put it, I kind of use it as bronzer too. Cause it browns up my face, but it's contour baby. I kind of just do that. 
Last time I didn't really use this much contour, but let's try something new, I guess. Then I do a little bit on the forehead and not on my nose yet because I'm going to go in with some e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, oh, it's not going to focus. And this is light beige. Light beige. And this is how I just get that bright under eye look that I be getting. I used to do my makeup a whole different way. But, because I actually used to do my makeup like this before I changed it to the other way. And somehow me doing it this way just came back. And I was like, you know what? Might as well. So then you really just go over what you just highlighted, honestly. And except the top lip. That's the only place I don't highlight for real. And then what you want to do is. I got this brush from Sephora number 70. And I just kind of dab that in, dab that in. sharpen my contour I go in with the same concealer LA girl pure beige and I just do a little line just to sharpen it up you know I feel some hair is getting caught in my makeup Per usual. Then I get my Milk Hydro Setting Spray. And I spray my brush. I'm supposed to do that before the first time I conceal, but I forgot. I don't know what this does, y'all. Don't ask me, but... Makes me feel like I'm doing something, you know? Makes me feel like... Yeah. <laughs> Brightened up those eyes, didn't it? Okay, now sometimes if I blend it too far down, you gotta go back in with that concealer. I mean that bra. I mean that contour brush. My bad, y'all. It's my first time. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> contour my favorite part just put two lines what's up mommy you want chips okay yellow chips okay give mom a minute okay i like to use like a slanted brush for the nose and things and just Bring that down. And I like to bring that up. I 
go back in. Kind of do this a little bit. I really like harsh nose contour. I like when you can actually tell I contoured my nose. So I kind of want to add a little bit more contour to my nose. Because when I say I really be, you feel me? I really be, you feel me? I'm going to use a blush today. I think I'm not going to blush today. Nope, nope, nope. Don't think I am. I have been using my new Charlotte Tilbury powder just to brighten up that under eye. But my main powders I use is Maybelline Fit Me shade 20 light medium. Yeah. Then I use Clean Cover Girl, shade 115, translucent medium. And I just use this for the bottom of my face, y'all gonna see. And before I got my Charlotte Tilbury, I used to use my other Cover Girl. This, it said Cover Girl, but I had it so long you can't even tell. Shade 110, um, translucent light. And I use this for the under eye to brighten up my under eye, but since I got my other stuff then, we don't need that. Don't worry about the lines and all that. That's literally going to blend out when you got your powder and stuff on. I really don't like this side. And I feel my under eyes caking up. But you know what? Oh, well. But you know what? I never gave MUA, so... We're just gonna deal with that. I used to use a, a beauty blender for everything, but now I use these. I don't know. I kind of fell in love with them. You get them off Amazon, and I kind of just mess with the vibe. So I'm just gonna go under. This is my shade that I'm going under with first. I'm going over my face with first, and it really just brings it all. Sometimes I I be want to stop at this step when I got this powder on it. Oh. I'll be like, yes, 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 honey. Ooh, this, this don't look, I was going to say, it's a little harsh contour. I think I used too much over here. Don't be like me trying to be extra. Stick to what you know. And things like that. Look how smooth that is compared to this side. Like, hello? On the year side. <laughs> I just got some. Pulled up and I. With two holes like. Yeah. I just got some. Then I get this brush and I dip it in my powder. And then I tap it like this. Then I put it on my forehead, bring it down to the nose. Then I do that same thing again and cover up my brows, well, my lids, I mean, and bring the excess on my nose. Then it's kind of getting powdery. Oh, I also put some on my chin and my lips. Oh, I didn't contour my chin. We gonna contour my chin with the um bronzer. Or at least try to. I usually put two lines on my chin just to chisel it out a little bit so it ain't, you know. You know, you know, you know. 
Then I get my cover girl, wherever that is. I put it back in a drawer. Oh, my nose is running, baby. The powder is expired or something. Going with this cover girl. And I just put a line and dab that in, dab that in. Feel all these hairs in my makeup. Going with my Charlotte Tilbury. But I get a new, I get a different makeup thing than this one that I use for previous powders. And I just kind of rub it in just a little bit. And I'm not really using a lot. Kind of just lightly, you know? Lightly going in with it. Because like I said, every time I do my makeup, I'm still learning my face. I'm still learning what looks good on me, might not look good on other people. So you really got to still learn your face, you know? I just got some pulled up and I went to hoes like yeah. Then I go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer shade. Shit. Let's drop this shit everywhere. Coco Naughty. And I think I'm gonna use a new brush for this one. I'm gonna use this one. And just dab that in. And I do the sides of my face. Really just bronzing it up, you know, brighten it up. I kind of put it over my contour too, you know. Put a little bit on my forehead. And then... Put a little bit down here. Just to, you know, bronze it up. I love bronze makeup. I really do. Mm. I go in with the excess powders that was on my thing and just kind of go over that bronzer I just did. Now, this is still baking on the side, so I literally just pat it in. I pat it all in. Again, it's extra. A lot. I used a lot more contour than I usually do, baby. I was trying to show out for y'all. I'm trying to be Aaliyah J and shit. Like, girl, you was not Aaliyah J. You never will be. Do what you do, Erica. Quit trying to be somebody else. But if I do another tutorial, which I don't feel like is needed, then I'll know better, you know? This side not that bad. Okay, so it's all coming together. All this little stuff I'm doing, I'm just, this is just what I do, just, you know, just because it makes me feel like I'm doing something extra. When in actuality, Erica, you're not. So then I go in with my highlights. From Family Dollar, LA, LA Color, LA Colors. I don't have this for a while, as you could tell. Both of these actually are my favorites. I use this one for my inner corner, and I use this one for my nose. Sometimes I use this one if I got like pink hair or something. Let me open it. There we go. I use this one for my nose, this one if I got pink hair in. And then I use this one for my inner eye. Don't barely use this one. Going with my little stick. Dap it in, and then I highlight my nose. And I kind of just blend it with my finger. There we have it, that highlight. I don't think I'm going to do inner corner highlight, but why not? Let's go ahead and do it. 
So now I'm using my white one. Hopefully we can get some color going. And just inner corner like that. There you have it. I wanted to try this white eyeliner I got, but I haven't gotten around to it. So this is where I get my All Nighter Urban Decay Ultra Glow. Shake it up real good. And I spray, spray, spray. Oh, I forgot my blush. I usually do blush. I don't know how I forgot that part, but we gonna add blush after the setting spray dry. So while we waiting on the setting, oh my gosh, there's so much powder on all my stuff. Oh, such an idiot. It's about time I get a new vanity anyways, honestly. This is just too much. Okay, now for a lip, I have black hair, so I usually do a black outline with brown on the inside. So we're gonna stick to what we know once again. And I use the same pencil I use for my eyebrows on my lips. So, no, I don't wipe off the makeup. I really don't care. With two holes like, yeah. I just got some. Pulled up and I. With two holes like. Then I get my brown. One of my supporters sent me this. I don't Baby, I don't, I don't wear it out. I don't wear it out. I don't want to let it go. I got this in NYX one too, but I like they look the same. But for some reason, I like this brown better. So I just got some yeah. Pulled up in the yeah. With two holes like yeah. I just got some yeah. Pulled up in that yeah. With two holes like yeah. Hey, what you smoking? It's that yeah. I, I just pulled your yeah. She just gave me hair. Okay, so now that that setting powder I feel like is down, I use this Mil Milani brush. She has had this for a while too. This is Coral Cove 05 Walmart or wherever. Comfort shade. I don't know if it's because I'm used to it because it's not really, you know. I do got some. Huda Beauty blush that I got, but it's a liquid blush. And I think it's just too dark for me. But sometimes I do use it, but then I put this over it once the powder is all on my face, you know? Let's get a little of that blush going. I really hate having to add blush after I already got the setting powder on, but... Then once again, just the excess that's left over, which is barely any, go over it with that um, on my face. It's looking like it's coming together, baby. Put my milk setting powder, shake that up. I mean, setting spray and spray again. Mm -hmm. and then I spray a little bit more. I think I want to add a little bit more brown. I don't really, I only like when it's like a black outline, not like, you know. Feel me. There we go. My hair store lip oil. Then I go on with my hair store lip oil. Oh, Ooh. got a little something up there. Uh oh. Okay, so wow, Erica, you've done it again again erica so this is my makeup tutorial looks very smooth benny probably hiding in the closet where he be sleeping and yeah hope you guys like hope you guys 
watch this video when y'all doing y'all makeup so y'all can kind of get into the groove and like i said i'm still learning so mommy i'm working right now wait if you actually do makeup i would love some tips if you actually do makeup yeah thank you but other than that long awaited makeup tutorial Woo! until we meet again